First things first, time to go to the castle and pick up my quilt. I kind of forgot about that in the last video, so I'm going to go ahead and do it right now. Go ahead and pick up my quilt, and then we're going to go and fight Kojiro. Yep, that's what we're doing. We're going to fight Kojiro. Okay, so who was doing it? I believe it was the uh, Weaver. Sigourney Weaver made it for me. <laughs> my hero, I've got a surprise! The Legendary Quilt. Tiredness to zero, twice the speed of normal, HP and BP. Yep, so just like I said, pretty useful asset. I mean, if you want to have more offensive power, you go with the gloves, but uh, I think the quilt is a little more useful just because you can use it in place of healing items if you're... Again, it's kind of a desperation thing, but it can help. So now we're going to cut to the woods where we go and fight Kojiro. Okay, before we go into the woods, we have to go to the mayor's house to get a few things. I totally forgot about that. But, luckily, here he is right here to give us our things. So, <clears throat> he's got some items to give us, and this will allow us to access Kojiro. It's actually a place I haven't visited yet, but I'll show you how to get there, of course. So, <laughs> the little mayor. Oh, Musashi. Such a part of score. Okay, so he gave us a calendar. Uh, this calendar comes into play at the very end of the game, but uh, good to have anyway, and somewhat mandatory, I suppose. Okay, so he's, now she's going to give us something else. What the? Rock salt. Rock salt. What would I ever need salt for? Well, let's find out. First off, I need to check out my inventory. Make sure I don't have anything clogging the place up. No, nope, just got some good stuff in there, of course. Okay. Now off to the woods, which are thankfully right here. Just gonna take a detour into the woods, and let's go and see what's up with Kojiro. Because he's a man, and he has a sword. And he can defeat the bads. Or something, I don't know. Get into the top, get into the top. Uh, in comparison to the last chapter, this is actually pretty mercifully short. There's not a whole lot that goes on in this chapter. This I might be able to finish it within the entire length of this video, but I'm not sure about that, so I'm not going to make any promises. Um, if it turns out that it'll be too long, I, I have a way to split the video up in which it won't... Uh, in which I it doesn't, like seem really obvious that I split the video. Luckily we don't need the hop ability, we just gotta go right over here. Now one thing of note is that you need to come here at the right time. It has to be between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. But you go this way. So it's like the opposite direction of the meandering woods, which we'll have to go back to eventually. And as you can see, what the fuck is this? Weird looking rock. Looks kinda slimy. Ew, gross! It looks like a disgusting slug! Slug? Hey, maybe... Use the rock salt! Just as I thought! It wasn't just a boulder, but a humongous slug! An effect of Binsho tights? Then maybe I'll also be... <laughs> we just poured salt on a slug. I poured salt on a large slug. Okay, so here's a Bincho. This guy uh, is actually a pretty cool guy. He'll take uh, fusion and make it a little bit stronger, and also change the color, which kind of suits, because I like the blue color of fusion. But anyway, there's more than meets the eye here. Kojiro's not the only one here, but... Well, there's a chest, for one. 500 drans, that's not too bad. Okay. Guess I'm going to need my water scroll, huh? I'm pretty sure it's not high tide. It's between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. that it's uh, not. So let's go over here. Yeah, we gotta let this loose. So let's go ahead and liberate one last water crest. And then there's something that looks like a head, doesn't it? Well, let's see what's down there. Uh oh. 
You hear that music, you know what that means. There's something big down here. And what could that be? Why, it's the next scroll. Who'd have thought? Oh yes, the fire scroll. So, just like with water, we get fire. Nope, not much time to celebrate because watch what happens next. You are late, Musashi! You kept me waiting forever! That voice! It sounds like that loser! Kojiro! Thought so! I will never forgive you for giving me this scar! Ha! You gave yourself that scar when you tripped and fell! Shut your mouth! If you had listened to me, that would not have happened! Flipping coins to see who wins was, and still is, not my style, pal! So this time I came to duel with you today! Hold on! Does that mean you were waiting here all this time? Yes, why do you ask? Then you saw me doing that flashy stuff, right? Yes, I needed to put on my sunglasses! Well, thanks to that, I'm much stronger. Oh? Oh, really? So, I think it'd be a waste of my time to duel with you now. Okay, then. I shall come back later. Huh? Hey! You tried to trick me! Haha! <laughs> Guess it didn't work. Anyways, I'm kind of busy now. So, catch you later, okay? Huh. You would be nicer to me if you knew about the nice present I have for you. Present? Musashi! Princess! Girl, you... So I guess if I agree to pulverize you, you'll free the princess, right? I did not want to play unfairly, but I had no other choice. All right, then. I accept your challenge. <laughs> Do not worry. My victory will only take a second of your time. Musashi! Like, hurry up and clobber this knob! Okay, okay! Still as loud-mouthed as before. Glad you're all right! Snob? What do you mean, a snob? Musashi, get ready to perish! Ha! You're gonna regret this, pal! Oh, really? Don't say I didn't warn you! Oh, be quiet! Let us begin! Take that! Okay, so Kojiro just likes to jump around and be an idiot and wave his sword. You got a lot of room to avoid him, so it's not too bad. Just gotta get in, get a few good hits in, and just run away. But he likes to block a lot, I see. In fact, I can't even hit him. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, maybe I gotta get behind him? There we go. Yeah, see, unlike most bosses in this game, he just, uh, stands still, and he doesn't have, like, a... He doesn't, uh, have, like, a pattern. I mean, I guess he's got sort of a pattern, but he's not like the bosses where you have to, like, wait till their weak spot's exposed. You can just kind of wail on him, although he's being a little bit of a bitch pussy like Sub-Zero right now. He won't move, yet I can't get any good hits on him. I'm just kind of chipping away at his health right now. I was hoping I'd be able to get some better hits on him, but he's being weird. He's being a hacker. There we go. You charge up, it's a little quicker, I guess. It's really unfortunate I can't hit him with uh, my freaking super strike or whatever, where I block an attack. He's not too hard. I guess I guess he's just stuck right now. I don't know what the hell he's doing. He's just standing there and getting hit. So I, I guess I'm getting hit too, huh? Yeah, basically just wait till he attacks and then hit him with Lumina. It's, I guess that's about all you can do. Alright. He's toast. I don't know why he's, like, invincible. I don't remember it being this way before, but whatever.
I cannot believe that you won! How could this be? Sorry, pal. Princess, you all right? Musashi, I... Yeah, I know. You don't have to thank me. Let's go back to the palace. They're gonna be surprised! Well, she's just gonna follow me. Okay. Alright, well, let's take her back to the castle. Hopefully the game will actually just warp me there so I don't have to walk all the way back, but... Knowing this game, that's probably what I gotta do. At any rate, I'm gonna cut back there anyway so you don't have to watch me poop and pee and fart. Okay, let's see what happens. Hey, Geezer! I did it! Hello! Rips and I'm back! Alas! Doth it be? Tis the princess! Sir Musashi, thou hast saved our princess! It was more of a pathetic journey than I thought, but I can go home now. That's true! Congratulations, Musashi! Oh, but leave Lumina, okay? I'll use Lumina to clobber anyone who tries to kidnap me again! <laughs> yeah, a tomboy like you can handle Lumina! What do you mean, tomboy? Take that back! But now that you're leaving, I feel kind of sad. I thought that you'd get the five scrolls and... I... I mean, I thought we were going to be good friends. I feel the same, Princess. Uh, uh, ahem, uh, uh, pardon I for interrupting if, uh, but, um... You're gonna be lonely too, huh, Geezer? I understand. I'm also... No, I mean if, if thou art journey hath not ended. Why not? We can go look for the remaining scrolls ourselves, can't we? No, I mean if that peace hath not been restored to all you can eat palace. Come to think of it, I haven't dealt with the Thirst Quencher losers or those thieves yet. They might try to kidnap her again. Can't slack off. So, you're still going to help us, Musashi, right? Yeah, of course. Then, Sir Musashi, may I request that thou art seizeth the thieves? Thieves? Uh, can't we just forget about those thugs? Seize? Sounds like fun! Wait, Musashi! Isn't there something more important? Like, finding the five scrolls! Yeah, but where are they? Anyways, gotta ask those thugs a few things. You know what I mean? Then tis settled. Our three mercenary soldiers are investigating if the situation. Please ask of them. Okay. Princess, thou art meest to go backeth to thou art's room and relaxeth. Um, okay. Don't work too hard. Uh, I mean, good luck! Don't worry about me! Hmm, that was a little weird. Alright, in case the game forces me to do this again, I'm just going to talk to the mercenary so I know what the heck I'm doing. Basically, each mercenary gives you a brief bit of direction so you can get through the meandering woods a second time. It's basically three uh, separate torn pieces of paper that together give you all the directions you need. I'm just going to go ahead and talk to these guys in case the game does that stupid thing again where it's like, nah, you, you're not supposed to know this. Might as well better be safe than sorry, I guess. I found a message that ultimately gives you nothing. It's just farts and pee pee. Not that big of a deal. I've got the directions right in front of me. It's actually fairly easy. It's better this time because you have no enemies to bother you. You can just go right through without any trouble. Okay. And the the directions are just kind of cryptic and all over the place and 
they they tell you like how to like the directions there were based off like a game or something. Well, what I want to talk to now is I want to talk to the artisan so he can power up my sword a little bit. I don't know if it makes that much of a difference, but it's a nice thing to have, I suppose. So he's going to take the sword. I don't know how long it takes. Oh, is he just going to do it on the spot? Huh. Okay. Well, that's cool. A newly improved fusion. It feels somewhat stronger. Yep, somewhat is the word. See, it's yellow now. It's grody piss stained yellow instead of awesome blue, which is the kind of suki thing about it. But luckily he did it on the spot, so we don't have to worry about that. So with that in mind, we can go ahead and just go straight to the Meandering Woods and uh, do the spotch. So without further ado, I'm going to go back there. It's in the exact same place as it was, so it's not that big of a deal. So off we go. Alright, Meandering Woods, Mark II. So the directions are not that difficult. It's uh, left, up, up, right, up, up, right, up, up, left, up, 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 up. So, not too bad. It's a lot of up, and not a lot of anything else. You don't ever have to go down. That's how you get out, I guess. And doing this takes you right to the uh, Thieves' Hideout. Or not necessarily, but something close. We'll see. It's got different music. Not as good as the first theme. The first theme is probably one of my favorite ones. If you uh, mess up, the music will... Uh, or not the music, but the game plays a sound for you that basically denotes that you fucked up. So now I basically just go straight up for the rest of the thing. Oh no, up twice, then to the left, then up four more times. So redundant, oh my god. You see, it starts snowing progressively more as we get closer. That's part of the charm, I guess. Kind of hints you at something. Okay, so now just straight up for the rest of the way. Not too bad. Uh, I'm not going to split this video, but I suppose by this point, from here to the end, it's probably going to be pretty long. I think what I'll do to kind of lessen the blow is I'll put the cutscene that's probably going to be at the end of the chapter at the beginning of the next video instead of having it at the end of this one. Just to save on a few minutes of time. Is this the thieves hideout? In I go. Okay, so I don't think there's any prerequisites. The door's open. They in there? All right, so I just go straight in. Don't think that, yeah, no prerequisites. You just go right here as soon as you save the princess or whatever. Hey you. You one of those dumb thieves? Dumb thieves? Hmm. Ah, you mean leader's force. Do I look like I belong with such scum? My name is Ginger Ale. Isn't it an exquisite name, darling? Sorry, don't know much about the names in this world. By the way, is this the thieves' hideout? Perhaps. But they're not here at Frozen Palace anymore, darling. I wonder where they went. Shoot! Came here for nothing! I've let the geezer down, too. Hey, where are you going? Sorry, but I have no time to babysit. See you later. Don't catch cold, darling. I wonder who she is. Her. Anyways, maybe I can find something about the five scrolls. Before I catch a cold. Well, that wasn't particularly nice, but here we are, the Ice Palace. Wonder if we'll see the Ice King around here. Alright, go ahead and leave my memories here. Always a good idea, I suppose. Especially since this place could take a while. Which, hopefully it won't. Uh-oh. Oh, PP, oh, pee -pee, that made me cold. That's not good. How do I uncold? Or am I just poisoned? I don't even really know. Well, actually, you know what? Oh, I can't go up there. That's right. Yeah, there's ice all over the place, and there's certain things I can't do until I get the red shoes, which are actually right there at the top. Can't go there yet. Uh-oh. 
Oh shit, it's the Ice King's penguins. Wow, you took quite the beating there. Okay, so I am poisoned, so... I've got something for that. It's called Antidote. And I guess I could use one of my gels since I'm getting beat up a little bit here. Not paying that much attention. Oh, they blow up. Oh, so violent. Oh, I missed. Oh well, you know what? I won't bother with them. I think a lot of these guys are going to poison me and do douchey things, so... Might as well just stay away from them. I forget how a lot of this place goes. This is one of the places I'm a little less familiar with over time. Okay, so they push ice blocks. I guess what I gotta do is I gotta uh, jump on it. And then make a break for it. Yeah, not too bad. Easy enough to figure out. Yeah, I hope this place won't take me too long. I don't want this video to be too long. I guess if I ever get lost, I have places I can make cuts. Okay, so who's in here? Hopefully it's a knight or something. Nope, just a man. Chef. Chef excellence. Well, I don't think he's that important. He might have to do with that whole rice balls thing, but I really doubt it. I think, the, I think all the rice balls people will mention rice balls. Uh-oh. Ninja wolves, that's not good. Yeah, these guys are beating me up. Yeah, a lot of st stuff does a lot of damage in this, honestly. The problem is I haven't spent a lot of time grinding or anything when I maybe should have. I should probably grind a few levels before I come here, but I'm not not really that keen on leveling up at this point in the game. This penguin sure take a beating, that's for sure. Alright, what's over here? Health? That's good. Um, I think there's some kind of enemy that will allow me to get thrown up there. I don't know what, though. Let me assimilate this guy and see what he's got for me. So I forget. No, come on. Don't be a jerk off. Uh, I really missed by that much. Well, okay, what? Well, this is bizarre. Am I not allowed to assimilate them? Well, he keeps throwing his sword all stupid. Alright, I'll come back to this. Obviously, it's not that important right now. Oh, they beat me up. I think this is back into the main entrance chamber. Uh, I don't know what these guys give me. I don't want to wake him up because he poisoned me and I don't have antidote anymore. I'm going to try to assimilate him. See if he gives me hop or something. Because if I can hop, I can go up that ramp, I bet. Map. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's not particularly useful. I mean, I guess it is to some extent. I guess this is a fairly large place at the end of the day. Hmm. And I can't go up there because I don't have the ice shoes. Okay. Well, I guess I gotta go the other way then. Oh boy, this is great. I have no idea where I'm going and I'm in the middle of recording. I think it probably would have been wise for me to just make a cut right before I got here. I suppose I still could, but... I'm getting ganged up on here. These guys don't show a lot of mercy. If I could take more damage without getting so beat up, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But unfortunately it is. I still want to see what these guys will give me. I guess nothing, because all my things keep going through them. And whatever it is that throws me up here is not available to me right now, so I guess I gotta go the other way. I knocked his head off. Oh, maybe because they're like robots, I can't uh, take whatever I need from them. Oh, I can't even get back up there now, so I have to go all the way back around again. Gee, thanks. Hmm, boy. It's a frightening place. Can't need a key for that or an eye, whatever. Hmm, 
he's gonna blow up. Okay. I'm starting to have second thoughts here. So obviously I'm not very well versed in this area. And maybe I should spend some time level Okay. The perspective screwed me up there. I didn't think that was gonna hit me. Alright, so I need to go this way. Okay. Another room. Got all these penguins everywhere. They're just making me fat. What's the sign say? May the lonely have victory. Okay, so I guess I gotta kill all these guys. No, well, not terribly surprising. Yeah, I get to use my combo moves here just because these guys take so many hits, which is pretty cool. Uh, luckily, those little explosions don't hurt me if I'm too close to them. Okay, there's that there's that dash move I was talking about that I don't like to do on accident. Okay, that's by a door. I probably shouldn't do the move at that point. Oh, is he shooting lasers? Oh no, those are bullets because there's <laughs> bullet casings coming out. Okay. All right, there's just one more. Just the guy with the gun. Big man with a gun. I'm gonna impale your ass. Haha. <laughs> Bastard. Oh, well, you got right back up. Jerk face. Alright, everything's dead. Give me something. Ooh, a treasure chest. Hello, what's in there? Yay. Red eye. Okay, that allows me to go through that door. Okay. Making progress now. Finally. This is definitely going to be a long one. I've already gone uh, 30 minutes at this point, it looks like. Okay, just watch out for these guys. They're kind of dicks. Most people are dicks! I think what I'll do is I'll at least get the red shoes, and then once I get those, I will, uh, Use red eye? Ah, give it a try. Now, why would you not want to use it, you jerk face? Hooray for progress. Well, this room doesn't look too bad, I guess. Whoa. Oh. I see what this is. It's a mimic. He's copying all my moves. Okay, break out. And don't do that. Uh, stop! Okay, so I guess what you can do is you can do that. You can't copy the spin attack. So that's your one defense, I suppose. Okay, well there's some health. Yeah, these combo moves come in handy with some of these enemies because they take a lot more hits. Okay, just walk past him. Really don't need to bother with him because he's being a dildus master. Long tube, and appraised it. It's a big straw. Well, that's not important. What is important is that I get those red shoes and then get out of here. And then we'll come back and we'll finish this on another video. Oh, wait, no, I need this guy because he's going to throw me up. Just can't have him throw me into the spikes. Oh, of course. As soon as he's getting ready to throw me. Come on. There you go. Okay, now I'm up. Now I should be able to get those red shoes. No, nope, not quite. What's this? This is a block maze. Okay, I guess what I gotta do is I gotta just go through this. Like the little Bruce Lee noises that they make. That's kind of cute, I guess. What? What the fart? Oh, I picked him up. <laughs> Only impale his ass. Okay, I don't know a lot of people who could live through something like that. Okay, that did a lot of damage. I better not get hit by another one of those because I'll really be uh, regretting that. Guess I gotta watch out for the shadow on the ceiling. It's always a good idea, I guess. Oh, there's a Bincho in there. I guess I better get that. 
Okay, that's outside. I don't want to be there just yet. I don't know when I get the red shoes. I thought I got them pretty early in the place here, but I guess not. Well, of course, there's an enemy. I can't see. How did he hit me if I can't even go that way? He's just being a hacker. Oh, maybe I gotta use the fire skull finally. Well, let's see what the fire skull does. Mm, does nothing to that. Okay. Not quite. I'm gonna need the fire skull eventually, I'm sure. Not right now. Okay, fusion combos work on them alright, I guess. I don't even know if I can hurt that guy. I'm not even gonna try. So he's just being a, a man of some sort. Yeah, the fusion combos basically keep him stun locked long enough, although sometimes they just decide, nah, I don't wanna get hit. Guess it depends. Just trying to level up here. <laughs> Pretty good! There's the Bencho. Definitely want that. Okay, who's this guy? Sura Musashi. Deeply moving emotions. Yeah. Yeah, we get it, you're wacky. Alright. Uh, ow. Yeah, see how much dam- that almost does 100 damage to get hit by that. That's no good. So yeah, don't get hit by those. <laughs> do not get hit by those. So basically, don't do not do what I do. Alright, what's the sign here? May the unhurt. Okay, so I have to... Okay. Oh, it means I can't get hit. I still have to kill them without getting hit myself. Which, uh, I guess means I just have to spin attack all of them. <laughs> so I think that's the only move that works. Alright, let me use my C drink since I need more hit points. I guess I could just sleep or something, but I really don't want to do that in the middle of a castle. Sure can't take a beating. Good lord. It's not often you see enemies that have so many hit points they can survive a bunch of these. Oh wow, he got hit twice. What do you think of that? And so did he. Cool. Don't want to get too close, though. Alright, this will give me my thing. It's in another chest. Hopefully it's got something melodic and technical in it. It probably has another eye in it. Probably the blue eye. I guess that's the whole point of it being on the thing like that. And then I think I can take that... I think that outside area that I was initially in, and then turned around, I think that will allow me to... I think there's a blue-eyed door out there. Okay, Musashi's getting tired. Do I have a mint that I can use? No, I can't. I don't have one. I guess I could just nap for a bit. It's not really important that I need to be awake right now. But you don't want to be tired, because it makes them all slow. Ooh, that sucks. Ultra technical combo from hell. Metal from hell! Okay. I thought I would just run under that. It falls down so fast you can't just run past it. Suxman. Okay. How am I supposed to get past this? Oh, you know what? Okay, Musashi's just straight up walking now. I guess I have no choice but to go to sleep. Okay, luckily my tiredness goes down pretty fast there. Be better if I didn't have to do this, but that's life, I suppose. When I get the red shoes, I won't get tired as fast, and that's that's pretty good. I think, yeah, I assimilate the ability from these guys, and I can just kick those spikes away. I think that's how it works. So, come my way. Yeah. What do you think of that little bitch? Kick your ass. D kick. Yeah, I do like if the freaking. It was a kick like that. Oh, I know what that is. Falcon kick! Oh, it's not how you do it though. I thought it was. Huh. Imagine that. Hmm. 
Maybe I can assimilate the ability from the stomp golems. That's what those things are called. Let me kick him anyway, just for fun. Yeah, give me your ability. <laughs> He's getting sucked up into the sword. That's actually kind of funny. Steel. Metal Man. Destroy special thorns. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> it even tells you what it does right on there. Don't know why I didn't think of that to begin with. I don't know. Kicking the spike sounds cooler than just breaking them. Alright, watch this. Hello. Oh yeah. I'm steel. Alright, what's the... what is this room? Just some kind of transition room. Not that important, I guess. And then another one. I think this puts me by that bin show. Yep. Puts me right there. And that's a good thing. Definitely want that. Alright, let's let this man out. It's freezing. How did I get saved? Okay. So I jumped down. Actually, you know what? I should probably stop here. So I'm running a little short on time. I don't want to make this video too long. So next time, we'll go ahead and we'll cap this place off. See you then.